Hello friends, I'm Pastor Roberto Guerrero Sr. My friends call me Pastor Rob, and I wanna welcome you to Hope for the Journey, my new YouTube channel, and I'm excited to share this with you. I believe that we're all on a journey of some kind. And if the truth be told, 2020 was quite the tumultuous journey for most of us. 2020 was the year that we would like to forget, but I believe we will always remember. All across our nation, all across our country, people are hurting. They're in need of healing. Many people today are anxious and angry. Many people are despondent and discouraged. Many people are wondering and worried about the future. There are people all around us with all kinds of emotions and bent up feelings. And like the old songwriter said many, many years ago, what the world needs now is love, sweet love. Because that's the only thing there's just too little of. And that's why I'm excited to share with you about my new channel, Hope for the Journey. I, and if anything I say today, anything you hear me say today, if it resonates with you, it challenges you, it does something inside of you, can you do me a favor? Hit the subscribe button below and then hit the little bell so you can get a notification when I post a new video. Then, by all means, hit that like button so you can come back and find me again. And then finally, share it with a friend and ask them to stop by and listen and subscribe as well. And also, if you have something to say about something that I said, um, whether it was positive or negative, whether you agree with me, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think, please. Um, I won't be offended. Share with me what you think. Let's get started. Today, real quickly, I just want to share with you three simple things we can all do to help spread some love. Three simple things. Number one, be patient. You know, we live in a fast-paced world and um, things are coming at us so many, so fast, so many things so fast, and, and we all need to learn to be patient. And patience is really only a, really about making allowances for one another. Patience is really about approaching people with the purpose of trying to understand them instead of trying to fix them. So many times we listen to people to try to fix them, but what we need to do is learn to understand them, and that takes time and patience. So number one, be patient. Number two, be kind. Kindness, simply put, is putting the needs of others before your own. It's doing the right thing simply because it's the right thing to do. It's figuring out those things that matter to those closest to you and showing interest in those things. It may be as simple as a smile, a word of encouragement, and if you can, a hug. But please remember, number two, be kind. And then number three, be forgiving. You know, in this crazy world, it's easy to get irritated and we begin to count up the wrongs people have done to us. Um, and we remember everything people said to us, did to us. But listen, friends, holding on to hurt only hurts you. We all need to let go, learn to let go of the past and look forward in our relationships. Because looking forward in our relationships brings healing, peace, and restoration. Be forgiving. Friends, our words and actions have so much power. And all of us have the power to help heal our nation one person at a time. So please remember these three simple things. Number one, be patient. Number two, be kind. And then number three, be forgiving. This has been Pastor Rob with Hope for the Journey. And as I said to you before, if you want to help me spread this message, hit the subscribe button below, hit the like button below, and by all means, share it with a friend and ask them to do the same thing. If we get this message out to enough people, one person at a time, we can make a difference. Leave me a comment and tell me what you think. And until the next time, remember, be patient, be kind, 
be forgiven. My challenge to you today is to go out there and show some love to somebody. This has been Pastor Rob. God bless you. And remember, the power is in our hands. Go and show some love to somebody today. Let's make a difference one person at a time.